God had chosen me. Paul was chosen by God, but for years he didn't live like it. I'm getting the revelation, y'all. The call of God was on his life, and yet he did everything that you can think of to disprove that call on his life. His life was contrary to the call. I see it all the time. What's wrong with you, man? I don't know, man. I'm running from God. How many of you have heard that and you've seen people and you go, oh, you're running from God? Yeah, God called me to preach when I was four. God called me to preach when I was 12. I know I'm called. And I always try to, try, to, try to disprove that commentary. And I've always tried to say that's not the way that works. But how many know that God's ways are not our ways? God is working on somebody in this room right now. You've been running. You've been acting the fool. You've been living contrary to your testimony, but it ain't over till God says it's over and you're closer than you think. I promise you, he can use you. So God is speaking to some folk in this ministry. There's a call on your life. But your current situation says the contrary. But here's my word to you. What you believe is possible. Whatever you've seen yourself doing, you need to know that it is possible. You don't have to be qualified. You don't have to have your act together. You need a revelation of who Jesus is. And then you need to submit yourself to him. And you need to not be lazy, but you need to get up and do. Put your hands to the plow. You need to move forward. God will add to you and increase you. God has a plan for your life, regardless of your current condition you don't deserve to be used by God but I promise you he can use you second Timothy 1 9 says for God saved us and called us to live a holy life he did this not because we deserved it but because that was his plan from before the beginning of time to show us his grace through Christ Jesus and now he has made all of this plain to us by the appearing of Christ Jesus our Savior he broke the power of death and and it illuminated the way to life and immortality through the good news. And God chose me, Paul said, the chief sinner, to be a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher of this good news. Good God Almighty. Our past, in essence, is the passion for our present and the catapult to our future. Our greatest desire is to help those that were us back in the day. That's why I tell people, don't forget your testimony. Some of you were drunkards, some of you were crackheads, some of you were weed smoking, liquor drinking, knife toting, gun carrying folk out there. Some of you were in lockdown, in jail, in prison. Some of you were in mental hospitals and tore up from the flow up. Some of you were outcast, outdoors. Some of you were disenfranchised, told you'll never make it. Some of you flunked out of school, don't have your GED today, but got a good job and can provide for yourself. And there's some people out there who need to know that you can be whatever it is that God has purposed you to be because you are who God has purposed you to be. You know good and well you don't deserve that job. You know good and well you can't afford that house. You know good and well you shouldn't be driving like you're driving. You know good and well you shouldn't have the perfume that you got on. You shouldn't be wearing the cologne that you wear. You ought not to have them shoes that you got on. And some of you ought not to wear socks today. But God is great and mercy. And and God has provided for you, for somebody else. There's another Smallwood out there. There's another Evan out there for somebody else. There's another Vaughn out there. There's another Keith out there for somebody else. You went through what you went through for somebody else. You did what you did for somebody else. You're struggling like you're struggling for somebody else. You're going through some stuff right now for somebody else. Hell, somebody else needs to know your story. Somebody else needs to see what God is able to do. Somebody else, because I promise you, he can use you. I promise you, regardless of where you've been or what you've done, I promise you. Promise you. 